Hello and welcome to my attempt. I'm gonna turn those waves off. I thought that it would be helpful, but they're not. So here we go. Today I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and do my makeup while telling y'all a lovely ghost story. I don't know if anybody does ghost stories, but I mean, everything in the book has been done already, so it doesn't matter. I also don't know much about makeup. I've only put it on like four times in the quarantine. So this is just for fun. This is for my and giggles. Um, and if you happen to enjoy it too, fabulous. I have really chapped lips. They're very dry. And right here I have this little crusty soul patch. It's not cute. It's probably because when I'm nervous, I'm like, oh. so today I'm going to be telling you a very sweet ghost story that takes place on St. Simon's Island, which is the place that the CFC team just came back from. And I miss it so much, even though it was really, really cold and kind of gross the last two days. Anyway, it was interesting because when I mentioned this to Cap, he's like the main island historian and he knows all of the stories. He didn't know what I was talking about. And I swear that I heard him talk about this on one of his tours, but whatever. And, and it's also, it pulls up on websites too, but I always thought it was a really sweet story. So here we go. Back in the day, St. Simon's was pretty like, I mean, it was rural, but it was by the sea. So they had forts there for military. And they also had a lot of what do you call tree harvesting? Timbering? I don't know. I want to call them tree mines. I'm so, I'm dumb. That COVID shot just took everything out of my brain. It, it's a mill. That's what it is. A mill. It was like on the island and it, people worked there late into the evening, like they were shifts. And so there happened to be a hardware store slash like, you know, whatever 1795's version of the Golden Pantry was. There was this place where people went to get their stuff when they were doing their weird shifts. And it was like the only one on the island that stayed open that late. And so the guys at the mill would go and they would get their cigarettes or Red Bulls or whatever. I guess back then it was like cocaine. You just did cocaine. Um, yeah, these guys would go and they would get their stuff. Um, it was kind of odd to see a woman out at this time because again, this was back in the day and women weren't really, you know, hanging out outside of their houses at nighttime. So it was very strange when one day the man working behind the counter at the general store noticed a woman coming in. She was very quiet, she didn't talk and she asked for a bottle of milk to which he was like, okay. Sure. So he thought it was a little odd, but I mean, she wanted milk. So he turned around and he gave it to her. And then when he turned around to get her receipt, she was gone. He was a little angry because I mean, she just stole milk from him. He didn't chase her out. He, he didn't actually see her. Um, she was just completely gone. And the next day, same thing happens again. Woman comes in, she mumbles, I want some milk. She doesn't say anything else. And she's young, but she looks like really tired and she looks kind of old beyond her years. And so he, he's kind of concerned because at this point he thinks something might be wrong. He, he's trying to be nice. So he gives her the milk again. And of course the same thing happens. He turns around and she's gone. So at this time he kind of just chalks it up to this girl is probably struggling. Maybe she's homeless or, or poor or something. And I'm just, I'm just gonna let it slide. If she comes in again, I'm just going to try to figure out who she is and how I can help her and I'll, I'll give her the milk, whatever. We'll figure out what's going on. So a couple days pass, maybe like two days, and she is nowhere to be found, but he started to tell some work people around the area that she has been sighted and he, they haven't seen her. They don't know really what he's talking about. They've kind of got their eyes peeled and what? my nose is so flaky. Ugh. I had a consultation for my nose job, which is going to be $10,000. So that's not going to happen unless this, this YouTube channel really gets popular. But also because in the picture I got back of my nose, it looked really weird. And honestly, I would rather have a big nose that doesn't look weird than a nose that looks like a ski slope. So I don't think we're going to do that. 
we can save a lot of money. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Oh, okay. So it's been like four days since the initial time that he saw her. Whoops. They're looking out for her. He's got a couple other guys that are working the shift with him. And he finally sees her again. And he's like, oh, shit. sorry, I can't. Where's my eyeshadow? There it is. There it is. He sees her again. And they're like, oh my God, it's her. They agree with him. They're like, she doesn't look good. This is weird. And they've never even seen her in the town. I mean, looking like that at least. They give her the milk and then they follow her out. Usually she just runs and she's like, peace out. And he doesn't see her. But this time he's got some friends posted up outside the building so that they can follow her to where she's coming from so they can figure out who's this weird lady that only drinks milk at night and like doesn't pay for it and she looks like she's 80 and 16 at the same time but they start to follow her and they go to this remote part of the island it's very quiet there's not a lot of stuff around then they follow her into a graveyard and then she starts running so she kind of like she's acting very very stoic and then she kind of turns her head and she sees them and she just starts running so she's got the bottle of milk and there's like five or six dudes that are following her and trying to figure out what the hell is going on they follow her all the way to a freshly dug grave and guess what she disappears oh my god it's a grave she's a dead lady that would explain the dark circles Although I have those two, I'm not dead, that I know of, so yeah. They go to the grave and she's gone. They look everywhere around, she has not run off like they were right behind her. She has disappeared into thin air. Uh, what the hell? As things get very, very quiet, they hear the cry of a teeny little baby. And they're like, oh my god, what is a baby doing in a graveyard at this time of night? <laughs> or at all. Shh. And they listen and it's a little baby crying. And they're like, where is this coming from? Oh my god. They look around and they're like, okay, this is weird, but crying is coming from underneath the dirt. They're like, this is odd enough as it is, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. So they see that there's a couple of shovels nearby from the freshly dug grave. They notice the tombstone and it has a woman's name on it. The date of death was like two weeks ago. This is a very new grave. As bizarre as this is, we're just gonna try to figure this out because we all hear it. So they grab some shovels that have been left nearby and they start digging and the dirt is very fresh. It's relatively easy for them to you know, get under there. And they find this coffin, this fresh wood coffin. It's very simple. And they open the coffin and sure enough, there is the woman, dead as a doornail, but she is holding her live baby and an empty jar of milk. Moral of the story is that if you die and you take care of your baby, that you're really nice. They grab the baby and they're like, oh my God. Turns out the woman had died of one of those old diseases that killed everybody. I don't know, tuberculosis or cholera, something, something. Maybe it was like a cold because back then. Oh my God, I don't, I need more eyeshadow options. Hmm, this is all gonna be edited out. This is dumb. They go to the town doctor and they find out that this woman just passed away and they were under the impression that her newborn baby had passed away as well. So essentially this baby was buried alive, but because the ghost mommy was so sweet and caring, she left her grave every night to get milk for this little baby. She got the attention of these guys and they followed her and ended up rescuing the baby from the grave. Every time I see a bottle of milk, I think, oh my god, that's so sweet. The thing about St. Simon's ghosts is that they're all really nice throughout all of the channeling that Heather did and all of the interviews we did. Everybody was just like, oh yeah, this ghost, he turns off the light and he turns on the light. He helps around the house. Oh, this sea monster. 
they're so sweet we just love them it's like there's no malevolent spirits on the island even even the dudes that that got in the gun duel at the lighthouse they're like bros now this is bizarre there's no annabelles on the island it's just a bunch of really nice dead people hanging out with each other in the afterlife which it's pretty cool i always want to see something scary but it's kind of comforting to know that in the afterlife it's not all rattling chains and despair it's also taking care of your baby when you die and you think your baby died but your baby is still alive <laughs> good thing too because if they had been in an area without a midnight 1800 7-eleven then that little baby probably would have joined its mommy and that baby grew up to be Michelle Obama. <laughs> I, I'm not even close to do, done with my makeup because I don't know how to do makeup. This highlighter is way too much. My face looks like it's the sun. Uh, thank you for coming. This is obviously the first one and it's, it's going to get better, I hope. But I thought that was a nice story and I just love... The people that put their makeup on and tell stories so i want to be part of it you know we've got a new video coming out soon about the infamous masonic pyramid of augusta and we hope that you tune in i don't have a catchphrase yet we need a catchphrase and a theme song that'll happen with time um, but anyway thanks for supporting our channel and what's it xoxo gossip ghoul yeah that's me Bye.